Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mid Pokemaster here, and today we are going to be go doing the Team Builder and Battle Replay for APA Indigo League Week 5. So, my opponent's team is the Dutch Pyvors, Dutch Pyvors, coached by SV Tornado. His team consists of Victini, Z Zeraora, Z Latios, Amoongus, Mega Steelix, Minior, Braviary, Regirock, Gengar, Slurpuff, and Como. -O. So, he has a pretty threatening team. It doesn't have the greatest bulk outside of Mega Steelix. But, so I really think we can capitalize on that. But also don't have the greatest switches to our stuff, to his offensive mons like Victini and Zeraora. So, it's really just going to come down to who sets up first. And who could have the most offensive starting off? So as you can see already, I am bringing Grandium Z Sand Rush Excadrill with enough speed for Scarf. So I should be outspeeding a plus one Latios, I believe, with the set. And Latios and Mini or Braviary are his only ground immunities. But Iron Head deals with Mini or and Bravery doesn't want to take an Iron Head either. An X is or is for the Latios. And Grandium Z is just so good against this team that I felt like I had to run it. Excadrill is my main win con this match. So my wall breaker to help Excadrill sweep is Mega Charizard X. He has the he has weird speed tiers. I don't really see Scarf Victini coming. Just because it doesn't want to lock it against one move against me. So, I am bringing Adamant Mega Charizard X, 252 attack, 140 speed, which I believe it's enough for an outspeed Slurpuff. So, I can outspeed it at plus two. Slurpuff does really good against this team because once it sets up, I'll sack off Gigalith, then let Extra Joe come in. Just so I can kill it. So, I'm really hoping Mega Charizard X can just wall break this week. It has a pretty good matchup. I feel like Excadrill is better. So, it just needs it just needs Dragon Dance, Fire Punch, Dragon Claw, and Roost. It didn't need the third attack in Earthquake. I felt like Fire Punch and Dragon Claw did enough. And Roost with Dragon Dance in case if I wanted to make it easier to set up. Or just survive some Scarf attacks. So next one I'm bringing is Gigalith, that can set up the same for extra drill as Sandstream, Smooth Rock, Stealth Rock, Toxic, not Toxic Spikes, just Toxic, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. Max HP, Max Defense, it's a good Vitini check, good Zero War check. It can take, I think, close combats pretty decently, and just is a good wall in general. So, Amoongus is looking really annoying against our team. So I'm bringing Man of Us with Overcoat so Spore won't affect it. So it has Defog, Knock Off, Roost, Brave Bird, Defog for my Mega Charizard X. Otherwise, they're not that. Defog isn't super important in this match, but Knock Off, Knock Off some uh, Victinis from Latios. Just so they can't. So if they are truly scarfed, I can just get rid of it immediately. And Gengar, it's a good Gengar switch in two. So I'm really hoping Mana Buzz puts in some defensive work this week. Next one is Assault Vest Scrafty, physically defensive, with knockoff, drain punch, super fang, and power punch. It can beat Mega Steelix 1v1 with power up punch, drain punch, super fang. Since Mega Steelix doesn't get any recovery, it can just beat it really fast. It's also a good Gengar switch in outside of Dazzling Gleam if he doesn't lock himself into that. So I'm really hoping that puts in some play. And it's a decent Victini Latios check, like a backup check if I don't want Mana Buzz to take the extra damage. So that's why I'm bringing it. And next one is Porygon 2 with the EV Light. Physically defensive. I had 8 special attack in the battle. I played on a different computer so I didn't fix it on here. Try attack, Shadow Ball, Recover, Toxic. Just another good physically defensive pivot. It's a good Mana Bee pivot. I felt like I really needed these, well basically four defensive mons and Gigalith, 
Mandibus scrapping Porygon 2 just because they were so useful to me. And I can beat his offense really good with my offense. And my defense does decent against it. So I'm really hoping that instead of the way it looks out with four defensive pivots, it won't be as defensive a battle. It'll be more offensive, which is always better because it's more fun to watch and play. So I'll see you all in the battle. Peace. And here is the battle. But I forgot to say in the team builder that since this was a battle that happened during my replacement week, so I cannot use the transactions I made. Which, if you haven't seen my new layout, here it is. It was made by Crystal Key. Her link to her YouTube and Twitter will be down in the description. And as you can see, my question of the day is, how do you feel about the new transactions I made? I feel like they were a great fit to this team and made it ten times better. Okay. So as you can see, my opponent brought Conkelder, Victini, Mega Steelix, Greninja Protean, not Protean, Torrent, Regirock, and Latios. So I'm really expecting a Latio Scarfer. It kind of hard to see Regirock, but I guess it does make some. It doesn't really make that much sense. But I guess if you wanted a Stealth Rocker, since I have a Mega Charizard X, so why wouldn't you bring one? So I'm just gonna lead off with my what Tima calls it, my Mega Charizard X, because. I, it's the breaker like I said before and I see no reason why I shouldn't just lead with it so as you can see he leads his Regirock and I lead Mega Charizard X so leads his Regirock and so I'm just thinking he'll probably predict me to switch and I'll just go for a Dragon Dance he'll probably go for Stealth Rock that's pretty that's a pretty simple play so as you can see I go for the Dragon Dance as he goes for the Rock Polish and I'm just sitting there like and I'm like, I'm just going to Dragon Claw this thing. If he's jolly, he can outspeed me with the Rock Polish. But if he's adamant, he can't. So I'm just going to go for the Dragon Claw. It is 58%. And I'm just like, yes. And then I see Earthquake. And I'm Kalkin. And it shows it doesn't kill. And so I just go for another Dragon Claw. And it kills. After the battle, he told me that he was weakness policy. So if I would have had Earthquake... I probably would have just lost there. So, down goes his Regirock. Then he brings his, brings in his Victini. And I'm seeing if he can kill me with any of his moves. I'm predicting him to be Choice Scarf by the way he brought it in. So I'm trying to calc and see if anything kills me. But nothing does. So I'm just going to stay in and go for the Roost. And I outspeed. And I'm like, I outspeed? He's not Choice Scarfed? And he goes through a brick. Brick Break predicting a multitude of things. Porygon 2, Scrafty, and Gigalith. So, but I went for the Roost. And by that damage, I can tell that he is Choice Banned. So, I'm just going to stay in and go for another Dragon Dance. So, I'm at plus 2, plus 2. He goes into Greninja. So, I just go for the Dragon Claw and kill. There was no reason for me not to. I see his Mega Steelix, and it was a roll... If he was at max HP, I'm pretty sure I guaranteed killed. But if he had a lot of defense investment, it was a roll. So I just stayed in and went for the fire punch. I killed. And I'm like, yes. Then he brings in Kong Kelder, and I'm thinking, there is no way he's max, it, max HP, max defense. So I go for another Dragon Claw. I kill. Victini. I know I can kill a Dragon Claw. Dead. I know he can't outspeed me. He brings in his Latios. If he's Choice Scarf, he still can't outspeed me because I'm at plus two. Go for Dragon Call. Dead. And I won my first battle here. 6-0. Mega Charizard X got all six kills. It was a fun game. It was fun talking to him afterwards. I really liked his Regirock set, but Mega Charizard X just destroyed. Sad to see that Excadrill and Gigalith and Mandibuzz will never see a lot of day with me coaching them because I transactioned them away. But thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Next week we face something Sneasels against my good friend Cyan. 
he's almost done with leagues. After this, I'm pretty sure he's done. So I'm hoping that we have a good fight. I've never beat him before, so I'm really excited to face him. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.